you were young when you started in business, and now you know you're in your thirties. You're a mother. I'm what? I'm in my early thirties. Early thirties. <laughs> Lauren Conrad famously stepped away from MTV's popular reality show The Hills during its peak to focus on building a lifestyle brand from clothing lines to books. Now a mother, she's also helping to empower women around the world with her fair trade non-profit company, The Little Market. You were on this TV show that was huge. You, you know, decided to leave and, and start a new chapter. How do you know when to trust your gut? And how do you take big leaps in life? I've been very fortunate and a little bit lucky with some of my big chances I've taken. When I left TV, I don't think anybody supported that decision, except for my mother. She was excited to see me leave. She was like, you gotta get out of there. <laughs> Mom's no best. No, I don't. I think everyone was like, oh, are you sure you wanna do that? Um, so I think you just have to, it's finding a balance between what your heart and head is saying. Like, if you feel something so strongly, don't ignore that, but also, you know, think it through. So, and it's a gamble, but a lot of things are in life. The Little Market is a nonprofit, and we work with female artisans all over the world. We focus on areas where women not have the same rights we do here or might have difficulty finding employment. And we also really like to focus on items that are made using traditions in a technique that was passed down through families. You've embarked on this with your best friend, Hannah. She's not here because she's literally just given birth. She's in the hospital. Talk to me about working with your best friend. Probably six years ago, uh, I went on a trip with Hannah. She was visiting different orphanages and different organizations focusing on women and children. We wanted to do something where we could work with women everywhere and really help them gain independence, financial stability, while also creating beautiful things that we loved ourselves and we know other people will love. When you decided this is a real business that we're gonna start, how did you get it off the ground? Honestly, up until um, about a week ago, it was run out of Hannah's guest house. <laughs> the photo shoots were either at her house or mine. Hannah's been amazing with creating our photography. and it, Between that and just the selection of goods, we've really put a lot of a lot of energy on making sure that we feel really good about every product. You want to maintain an aesthetic in your business. You need to be flexible sometimes, but there are things that you need to be firm about. What is it about this business model that just makes the company so unique? The way we operate is that we are keeping the artisan in mind from step one. We pay up front so that the, no artisan is ever out of pocket for materials, guaranteed income from the beginning. We are women, we wanna help women. We've, in the last few years, recently become mothers, and I think that that's only motivated us more because we understand, you know, when we're talking to women, their number one is always take care of my children, send my children to school, I want good things for my children, and I think that we just understand that so much more now that, that that's a reality in our lives. You're now going into brick and mortar. You're going to open your first store. You know, brick and mortar has had challenges recently. What's the big decision behind doing that? So many of our, I mean, we have a ton of one of a kind items. We have access to these artisans that are so talented. And I'm also really thrilled for people to be able to like touch and feel these mm. products because you can only capture so much in a photo. Some of these things need to be held for you to see how special they are. So this is the first store. Do you have a plan that you would love for this to expand or do you take every day as it comes? Hannah and I have the same goal and that is to grow this nonprofit as large as it can be. We wanted to make business decisions because at the end of the day, that's gonna grow it more quickly and that's gonna help more people. <laughs>